to Illuminator 11 and if you are new to the channel, a really warm welcome to you. If you're looking to have a personal reading done or a one-on-one -on -one session, and I also do amongst those sessions, you know, the Twin Flame ones, also just the Divine Feminine uh, readings and sessions to help you to uh, regain your power and stand in your power as a Divine Feminine. So if you're looking to see the services that I offer, you can drop me an email. Email address is in the description box below. And talking of Divine Feminine today, I'm really getting strong guidance to do just a Divine Feminine reading. So it's a Divine Feminine Power reading and we're bringing in beautiful decks for this. And as I was getting the decks, I started hearing these words that were coming through and I wrote them down and they are basically about rising. And I feel that this is a message for us all as Divine Feminines. And Divine Feminine, you know, is an energy that you're in on this journey. You can be male or female. And it's really about rising. The angels are saying the time is now for you to rise within yourself and also to rise in the, you know, the things that you are here to do. And the words were rise, Divine Feminine, rise. Rise into the greatest power of who you are. Rise into the greatest version of yourself. There is still so much to unleash within you. A lot more that is just waiting to come out the deeper you go. So this is about going deeper into yourself. There is so much more that you haven't even sort of discovered about yourself. And you can only discover that by going deeper into yourself. You know, this is about working on yourself, doing your inner work, releasing the things that are holding you back, the blocks that you have to really sort of open up to your gifts, to your talents, but also to the knowledge and wisdom that you have within, you know, to the things that you are here to do as part of your mission. You know, there is so much that is still within you that you haven't even discovered. That's the message that's coming through. And, you know, this is the time for you to rise into the greatest version of yourself. You know, and it's the time for you to rise into the power of who you really are. That's about really connecting to your true divine feminine power so that you can be able to keep moving forward. And if you're a divine masculine watching, this is about tapping into your divine feminine energy, you know, really sort of unleashing that energy within yourself. So let's check in to see what messages are coming through we've got beautiful decks today we've got the mystic of the magdalene the divine feminine oracle we also have messages from your angels with the angel prayer cards and then we also have here this is the work your light oracle because we are all here to work our light and then we also have the divine feminine truth's power and undying love deck so thank you angels what messages are coming through for the divine feminines today what messages are coming through for the divine feminines? What messages are coming through? So let's see what is coming through. So we've got this card here, this one here as well, and also this one here. Okay. And then thank you, angels. What messages are coming through for the divine feminines as well today from this deck? What messages are coming through? What messages are coming through? So I'm being guided to this one here. And this one here and one more here. Okay. Right. And then, thank you, angels. What messages are coming through from the Work Your Light Oracle? What messages are coming through for the Divine Feminines today? What messages are coming through for the Divine Feminines? So we've got this one here, uh, this one, and also this one here. Get four from here that one okay right and then thank you angels what messages are coming through from the angels what angel prayer cards are coming through for divine feminines today so we've got this one and this one okay and then thank you angels what messages are coming through for divine feminines today so we've got these two here and this one here okay that's those ones okay and that one as well all right so let's see so we'll start let's start with the work your light oracle so the first card that has come out so we've got here keepers of the earth 
You are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. So this is a powerful message. You're being reminded that you're not alone. As you walk your path as a divine feminine, your ancestors are with you. They're standing beside you. The cards I put on the side, they're falling down. They're all standing beside you, helping you, um, you know, when it comes to your path. And your ancestors, you know, you are here to change things for your ancestors, you know, the change ancestral patterns. And you're doing that for your ancestors, but you're also doing it for generations to come. So your ancestors are very proud of you. They are supporting you. They're standing beside you and they're helping you as you move forward, you know, doing the things that you are here to do, working on yourself, healing yourself. You know, you are healing um, the generations that are in your, you know, or your, of ancestors, but also the ones to come. So you are not alone. They are there supporting you, helping you, guiding you and really proud of you as well. They are proud of the work that you are doing because this is great work that you're doing, you know, not just for yourself, but for them and for the the ones to come as well. So they are really proud of you and they're, they're letting you know that they're standing beside you and they're helping you as you move forward on your journey. So really powerful message coming through there. And then the next card that has come out. So we've got here star mother. And the message is, how can you mother yourself? So the message is, that's something for you to think about in your day-to-day -day life. How can you mother yourself? This is about looking after yourself, your body, mind, and soul. How can you mother yourself? How can you be there for yourself? You know, the way a mother would look after a baby, you know, a baby that needs all the love and the and the you know the help when is when it's just been born a newborn baby you know how can you mother yourself that way you know so that's the message as that you're being asked and it's something that you are meant to think about every day you know really being there for yourself loving yourself you know self love is the basis for everything and you have to be in the place of loving yourself accepting yourself as you are and loving yourself fully and, you know, uh, and self-care and, you know, treating yourself, being there for yourself, you know, have loving yourself whilst you're going through your healing and inner work, you know, uh, whatever may be going on in your life, being there with love and compassion towards yourself. So the message is how can you mother yourself? And I feel that this is a question for you to continuously have at the back of your mind as you're living your life. How can you mother yourself? How can you be there for yourself? Because the more you are able to mother yourself and be there for yourself, the more you fill up your own cup. And then as your cup overflows, then you can be able to help others. But it has to start with you loving yourself. So really powerful. Next message that has come out, we've got dance with life. So really beautiful. Do something to change your energy. So this is a message coming in for you. You know, yesterday we had a card about dancing as well in one of the shorts that I did. You know, this is about dancing with life, being more in flow. You know, to really sort of get out of that energy of, you know, um, being, having like stuck energy within yourself. This is about being in flow with the universe, but also actually dancing. You know, maybe that can help you to get more into that, you know, being in free flow when it comes to your own energy. So dance, uh, do something to change your energy. So if you're feeling stuck or if you're feeling like things are just no you know, moving and, you know, you're being asked to let go a bit, you know, to dance with life. Don't take life so seriously. Enjoy yourself, you know, do things that help you to get out of feeling stuck when it comes to your life or in your energy, you know, dance with life. So that can be doing things that are fun, things that you enjoy, you know, going out somewhere, travel, whatever it is you know, and just do things that help you to change the energy that you may be feeling stuck in, you know, so that you can do things differently. That's the message that's coming through. It can actually be a message for you to start a dance class, you know, but these cards keep falling. These are not the ones that I picked up. These are the ones that I put on the side. So they keep falling onto the floor. Um, so, you know, you're just being asked to dance with life. So really beautiful. And the other card that has come out is just say yes. 
So I feel here you're being say, you're being given the message to just say yes to yourself, to mothering yourself, to being there, to loving yourself. Just say yes to your heart's desires, you know, the things that you're being guided to do by your soul. You know, just say yes. Maybe it's to dance, it's to start the dance class. Just say yes. Take a leap of faith towards the guidance that you are receiving. Your ancestors are there helping you to find your way as well. So, you know, whatever it is that's coming through, the message is just say yes. Say yes to yourself, say yes to life and, you know, and really be in this place of being open to moving forward, to rising within yourself as a divine feminine. So really beautiful messages coming through from this deck. And then moving on to the Magdalene, the, the cards from the uh, mystic of the Magdalene. So the first question, the first card that we have is Mary, Mag Mary, the Mary with the alabaster jar. So, and he says, ask questions. So I feel here you're being asked to ask questions, you know, ask your angels questions, ask the creator questions, you know, about things that you are needing clarif clarification on, or you're needing to, um, miss answers on, you know, ask the questions. And I feel this is also about asking your inner worlds the questions. You know, sort of really sort of being in the place of giving yourself the time to hear the answers within. So you ask a question and then you sit and meditate or you go into a place of stillness and then you can hear the answers that come from within. So I feel this is about asking yourself the questions, asking your angels the questions, your ancestors the questions who are walking with you. And then listening for the answers, you know, rather than ask a question and then you just, you know, carry on being busy and everything and you don't hear the answers because those answers don't always come in a very loud way. So, you know, or it can be an answer in a video. So you be in the present moment. You ask the questions about the things that you need, um, you know, guidance on. And then you get into a place of you know, listening out for the answers, looking out for the answers and being in the present moment to hear the answers. But this is about ask and you shall receive. So ask questions and you will get the answers that you need. Or you maybe it's maybe about you asking questions to other people who can help you with something, you know, that you are needing help with. And then the next card that has come out, we've got Stella, Stella Maris, Stella Maris and the message is trust. So I feel here you're being asked to trust, trust the creator when it comes to your journey with your divine masculine, you know, trust the creator when it comes to everything, trust the universe, you know, to bring you the love that you desire, other things that you're asking for in the right divine timing. You know, this is part of what we're all learning to get into this place of trusting trusting that everything will fall into place for you at the right time. So the message is for you to trust. And then the last card that came out from this deck, we've got here, I am the grail, hold on to your power. So you are being reminded that you have so much power within. You know, that's why you are being asked in the message that came through, We're just getting the book. And the message was, you know, the rise into the greatest version of yourself, rise into the greatest power of who you are. So you're being asked to hold on to your power. Don't give your power away. You know, don't give your power away to anyone, to your divine masculine, to anyone. You know, hold on to your power. Remember who you are. Remember your power and really rise into the power of who you are. So that's the message that's coming through. You know, sometimes we can get lost in the things going on in, in life and you give your power away to fear you know, you get lost in fear and worry. That's giving your power away. So you're being asked to hold on to your power. Remember who you are. Remember your power. Step into your power. Rise into the power of who you are and hold on to your power. So don't give your power away. Really beautiful. And then the cards that have come out from um, the, this is the Divine Feminine Oracle deck. So we've got here, Kali, and the message is the mother of the universe. I release all that doesn't serve me. It's time to be the truth of who I am. 
really powerful. And this is what you're being asked to do, you know, to work on yourself, to go do your inner work as a divine feminine, to release all that is holding you back, all that is holding you back for, from holding on to your power, all that is holding you back from becoming the greatest version of yourself, all that is holding you back from the power of who you truly are. So it's about releasing all that doesn't serve you anymore. You know, to really look at your life and see what it is. It's part of mothering yourself and loving yourself as you release the things that no longer serve you, whether it's other people, negative situations in your life, you know, habits that you've had, things that you know are not serving you. This is the time for you to release them so that you can truly step into your power. It's time to be the truth of who I am. So those things are holding you back from being the truth of who you, or who you really are, from being that greatest version of yourself. So it's about releasing all that no longer serves you. The next card that we've got here is Bridget. And it says, the goddess of eternal flame. I am in eternal flame and each day my light grows brighter. So really powerful. As you release the things that no longer serves you as a divine feminine, this helps you to shine your light even brighter, to be the truth of who you really are and to be really, you know, shining bright in everything that you do. As, as you keep moving forward on your path, growing into the truth of who you really are, then your light grows brighter as well. So all these messages that are coming through, they are there to help you to stand in your power, to shine your light bright and to move forward on your path. So really beautiful. And the last card that we've got is Pavati. And it says the goddess of devotion. I am a love that doesn't leave. When I commit to love, my soul evolves. So this is really beautiful. And you are love. You are a divine being of love. So it's about knowing this in everything that you do, you know, and you are that love that doesn't leave because you are love itself. So, you know, and when you commit to love, your soul evolves. This is about committing to loving yourself, committing to love in everything that you do you know, to being that love that you are, to be, you know, the love that you're wanting to see in the world. I put that in a post yesterday, you know, when you commit to, you know, operating from love in everything and, you know, and that helps your soul to evolve because your soul is only love and you are releasing the fear, the things that have held you back, the things that have covered up that love that you are so that you can step into the truth of who you really are, which is that love. So, you know, you are that love that does and leave and you're just releasing what has been keeping you away from that love that you are and you know as you commit to love your soul evolves so it, it evolves because you are here to be the truth of who you really are which is love and you know and it's about you committing to love but i also feel this is also about that committing to that love with your with your twin you know when you're committing to this love knowing that everything and trusting that everything will fall into place at the right time then this helps your journey to move forward your soul is evolving as well and you're getting away from being stuck in the pain and you know the things that happened in the past you're forgiving that letting go of that and that's helping you to commit to that love and that helps your soul to evolve to move forward and that also helps you to move forward towards that union so powerful messages coming through for the divine feminine today and then the cards that came out from the angels so we've got here focus your mind and the prayer is thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities so you're being asked to focus on your priorities in your life right now what are your priorities what are the things that you're wanting to do you know to move forward when it comes to your mission when it comes to the things that you're working on you know focus your mind sometimes we can get lost you know as divine feminines you can get lost in focusing so much on the divine masculine what they're doing in their 3d world you know focusing on other things going going on outside of us, but you're being asked to focus your mind on you, to focus your mind on loving yourself, on the things that you're working on, focus your mind on your own life, your priorities, you know, and that's going to help you to move forward. And that's going to help you to move forward to new beginnings. And it says, thank you angels for opening up the doors to change. I am ready. So you're being shown here that new beginnings are coming in, new beginnings when it comes to that love. That's why you're being asked to trust. 
you know, new beginnings because your soul is evolving to move forward to, you know, that coming together with your twin as well. So there's going to be a new beginning when it comes to this love. And that's because you are committing to love on your journey, releasing the pain and the fear and the things of the past and committing to love, you know, not giving up on your journey, not giving up on this love. And that's bringing in new beginnings. And, you know, and these are also new beginnings within yourself, new beginnings of going deeper into connecting to the power of who you truly are, new beginnings of unleashing, you know, the, your gifts and all those that as treasure that is within you that you haven't even tapped into yet, you know, so that you can be able to move forward. So there are new beginnings happening within you and also in your life, new beginnings coming in as well when it comes to your life. That's why you're being asked to just say yes. You know, there may be certain opportunities coming for you. It's just say yes, take a leap of faith, move forward because those things are leading you to new beginnings. So really beautiful messages coming through. And then the cards that have also come out to finish off uh, from this deck. So we've got here, I have found freedom. The creator is my power and my source. So this is about you walking your path with the creator in everything that you do as a divine feminine, knowing that the creator, God is your power. That's where you gain your power by connecting to that divine power and divine love within, you know, you connect to the creator within, and that's where you find your freedom, freedom from, from fear, freedom from the things that have been holding you back, you know, because you're walking your path with the creator. And as a divine feminine, you are the spiritual twin. And it's really about strengthening your bond with the creator in everything that you do. So I have found my freedom. The creator is my power and my source. And then the next message that we have is, we are so blessed to have the gift of this love from the creator. I am grateful for it every day. So this is about you seeing this love that you have with your twin as a gift from God and being grateful for it. You know, it's a beautiful thing to be on this journey. And that's about having that gratitude for it. And then also we've got here, having peace and joy, having peace, joy and happiness from within are my priorities in my life. So this is really beautiful because here you are being asked to focus your mind on your priorities and your priorities will be your inner world because what's going on in your inner world is what is reflected in your outside world. So when you have that peace and joy and happiness within, you'll find that in your outer world as well. So this, these are your priorities. These are the priorities that come from loving yourself. How can you mother yourself, you know, and saying yes to yourself, dancing with life, loving life, you know, and that's going to bring you peace. It's going to bring you joy and happiness within. Those are your priorities and that helps to bring in the life that you desire. So really powerful messages for you, the divine feminine. And to finish off, take all the time you need. Patience has been my biggest lesson on this journey. I am patient. So this is about you standing in your power. You know, knowing that you've learned when you continue to keep learning patience is the biggest lesson that you learn as a divine feminine on your journey. And you're saying to your divine masculine, I am in my power. I am, you know, I've committed to, the, I commit to love and I know what this love is and I am a love that doesn't leave. And, you know, when you are focused on love, you are patient, you're understanding, you're loving, you're compassionate towards your divine masculine. And you're saying, take all the time you need. You know, you've grown in yourself. You're understanding this. You're walking your path with the creator. So you lean upon the creator in everything. And you're saying to your divine masculine, you know, patience has been my biggest lesson on this journey. I am patient. Take all the time you need. I trust you to find your way to this new beginning that's coming in for us. I trust the creator to bring us together at the right time. So I am patient. And the more you are patient, you know, that brings power on your journey into your journey because you know patience is power and patience will help to open doors for that new beginning that you are desiring for that love life that you desire in the perfect divine timing so really beautiful messages coming through today for you divine feminine to really help you to stand in your power to stand in the truth of who you really are 
to focus on yourself, focus on your priorities. Know that you are not alone, that your ancestors are with you, your angels are with you. Work on releasing the things that you need to release. Know that God is with you, being your source and your provider for all the things that, and your power, you know, for all the things that you are desiring in your life, helping to bring in the new beginning that you're desiring and say yes to life. Say yes to yourself, say yes to life and know that all the things that you desire, that new beginning is coming in for you as well. So step into your power and keep moving forward and doing the things that you are here to do for yourself and also when it comes to your mission and your path. I hope you have a great day, guys. Sending you so much.